Hello my friends and welcome to today's tarot reading. This is a general daily reading for all signs, but the sign that you're here probably means that there is a special message for you, so thank you so much for joining me today. So today is the 5th of September, it is a Monday, the day of um, the moon. And we have a really interesting transit today. The moon is in Capricorn, but we've also got Venus entering Virgo until September the 29th. So I've got a good 24 days of this transit. Um, and both Venus and Mercury are in each other's houses. Um, and what this means is that you know, this just gives us a chance to really not get so attached to the small details in life. Um, for us to be a little bit more caring towards ourselves and towards others um, in terms of our critical thinking and helping us to like be a little bit more um, just a little bit more fair loving um, and not so biased um, in that sense of critical thinking but it also gives you an opportunity to understand um, the smaller details of any kind of job that you do um, any kind of work that you're involved in um, yeah, so that's just something to be aware of. How is your critical thinking at the moment? Um, Venus in Virgo gives us a chance to um, appreciate also that about ourselves and about what that quality brings to our lives um, and how it improves it. So with that being said, let's um, crack on with the reading. I'm reading with the Golden Thread Tarot and I'll be clarifying with the um, astrological reading cards. Dear Spirit, what messages would you like to communicate to the collective today? We have the Nine of Eight of Swords reversed. We have Judgment reversed. We have the King of Cups reversed. We have the Six of Cups reversed. Sorry, Six of Cups upright. We have the Three of Pentacles reversed. Interesting what I've just said, considering that that's reversed. The Knight of Pentacles reversed. There's a lot of reversals here. And another one reversed. Yeah, just four of wands reversed. Okay, what's going on here? All right, this is a memory. Yeah, this is a memory. Some reminiscing. Well, look at that. Yeah, see? Wow, yeah, yeah, oh my god, okay. Yeah, this is about something that you've walked away from. Um, it could have been like a, a, a situation that you did not really like. Um, but there was some okay elements. Hmm, that's really interesting, excuse me. So, yeah, you moved, or maybe you moved away from it and it wasn't very, it wasn't something that made you happy because you moved away from it. It actually broke your heart moving away from this situation because there was a real wish. Um, you didn't get what you wanted at all. Um, situation doesn't seem very happy to me. There was also somebody here that was kind of very oppressive about the situation. This could be a family situation. And what I'm seeing here is it could be a father figure um, that was not able to communicate themselves in a um, emotional way. So that sense of emotional blockage um, involved um, some kind of uh, like... Yeah, belligerent behaviour. I'll go as far as to say that. But something happened. And it's almost like you, you took the opportunity to, to kind of move out of the situation. Well, 
I didn't think I'd not just move out of the situation, the entire situation changed. Um, but there were some good memories here. So what's going on? And you've also got the Knight of Pentacles reversed. Yeah. Something that was really stable. You, you had to move out of it. This also could be friends, you know. I'm seeing friends or family. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, because we have the Three of Pentacles here. Um, something that may have involved a collaboration. You know what could have happened? You could have been friends beforehand and then you decided to work together. And then uh, when you've worked, and then when you work, that's when it goes all a bit awry, isn't it? When st when stuff comes into the mix, you know? Because I, I feel like you were friends beforehand. Um, particularly with these, this one here, with the four of wands here. So yeah, we have an opportunity, something that has come up, that has decided to, that you've decided to explore or, you know, it's just an event that's happened or something that threw you together. And there may have been an initiatory, an initiatory phase where you both, or the situation was, was good, but there was an inability to be able to work together or, yeah, work together. I'm not, it's not three of cups, but I think you got on. Um, and there may have been some things that were released in those respects, but something... Somebody didn't fulfill their side of the bargain. I don't know who it is. I don't know if it was you or if it was the other person. And this created some kind of rift, some kind of kind of unhappiness. And somebody didn't get what they wanted. You know, the wish wasn't fulfilled. Uh, what you wanted didn't happen. And it was very painful. Almost, there may be a sense of like, you could almost have like two brothers that didn't, that, 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 that fell out and didn't speak. But I am seeing like almost like one person that's older than the other. And um, we've got a king and a knight. So yeah, it could be one person that's older. Um, in terms of a personal situation if that isn't relevant to you this is about um, letting emotions get in the way And being overly judgmental about situations that involve other people, particularly when you're collaborating with them. That's interesting. Um, like you've got, with judgment reversed, it says to me that you're not listening. You're not answering the call and you're not listening to like what it is exactly that your intuition is telling you. Excuse me. I have to close the windows because it's really, um, it might be quite noisy, but it's very warm. Um, yeah, because the King of Cups, I think I've said it many, many times before, it always reminds me of Poseidon having a bit of a hissy fit. And, um, you know, you don't want to be in the sea at that time. So your emotions are all over the place. And they're with such ferocity because you've got the male energy um, that's very direct, that's very initiatory, that's very like all, you know, and when the male energy is afflicted in that way, kind of, you know, it can, it, the, the word that is coming to mind is belligerence. Do you know what this also could be? This could be that something happened at work and it was reported and nothing was done about it. And it was a good situation at work, but then this one incident didn't really occur. And like somebody has been kind of not being very good within the party. And it's a really sad situation. That's the, that's on the flip side of a work side. Um, but it was destined to happen because it's almost like you had to see. You had to see what this this situation was really about. And it's also motivated one of you to leave, to go, to get out. 
um the situation is not as happy as you think it is you know there's some good memories there but it's really not as as you know and the wish the wish for things to be sorted the wish for things to be um kind of recognized by the external is not even the with judgment reversed it's in a way it could be also that people didn't listen so it could be like somebody reported something at work and um where it was a good situation but then it turned it into like a unhappy situation and um yeah now now you know it's not very good so there's a lot of pain here <clears throat> Um, I'm trying to think of a personal situation. It's not coming to me easily, so I don't know if it's relevant. Um, but yeah, I do, I do feel like this, this swaying of the emotions. And people not being listened to, people not being heard. So there's almost like a new way of thinking that has to come forward. And it is painful. Because you're not getting what you want at all with others either so all you can do about it you're going to have to change it you're going to have to like get out of it you're going to have to leave I feel a bit sad my friend the fourth house your home your and the roots of your being fourth house is cancer isn't it yeah Wow, that house. You can tell that this has been done in the UK because <laughs> that looks like a very British house. Um, it even reminded me of my own family home. That's really interesting. Um, yeah, th this, this is triggering some... I think I've said it before, like, situations that we find ourselves in are reflective of the situations that are, that are usually something that, that kind of plays out again and again when we're, uh, like, from our childhood. So all of our relationships that we have in our lives, um, they're reminiscent of relationships that are, um, that are played out, like, when we were young, when we were kids. And uh, this is one of them. This is one of them. This is this is about you healing yourself. Um, so in respect to this, just take some time and find your inner child. Um, help yourself to, or maybe just touch base with your inner child, see what's going on. Because any kind of strong impulses are reflective of your inner child. They're, they're encouraging you to... Um, have a look at your inner child and watch what your inner, what is going on with your inner child and being triggered. Excuse me, by your inner child. Because um, when your inner child is reacting, it's um, it's because it's not being fulfilled, you know. Abandonment wounds, avoidant wounds. And particularly when you're working with other people, when you're functioning with other people. Yeah, be gentle with yourself today, my darlings. I'm just, I'm just looking at this. Be really gentle. I send I send love and um, just a big hug to all of you. Um, and I just, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Um, Venus is in Virgo today. So do anything that can nourish you. Remember your routines are the things that keep you going. They help you to um, they help you to find some kind of um, nourishment when others don't, when others are unreliable, when others don't really, um, when they're not able to kind of help you in the way that you hoped. Um, yeah, just take care of yourselves, my darling. Please do, my darlings. Oh, it's really interesting. Anyway, my darlings, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Please do take care of yourselves. Um, yeah, I'm just sending you a big hug. Lots of love. Um, thank you to all of my returning subscribers. I hope you do um, have a beautiful day. Um, thank you for all your comments. I really, really appreciate it. It really means the world. 
Take care, my darlings, and have a beautiful, beautiful day. I'll see you soon. Bye.